Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Today we see a few green candles again in the market and Solana seems to be following nicely this scenario I shared with you in the last video yesterday. Um, this extension higher in wave C of five um, and so on. Yeah, we talked about that we could get another extension um, and the assumption would be that we get this extension as long as we're holding the $67 level. So hold above that level. Micro support is actually the $72 level because the, the additional extension which could take the price to $93 approximately. I'm gonna take a look at targets more specifically in a minute. Um, in this microstructure, we are dealing with a C wave that could be an impulse yeah, in this last move up in this five wave pattern and a C wave in a C or in an impulse, the wave two is not allowed to retrace more than 100% of wave one. So this low is not allowed to go below this low, which is why this is the absolute key invalidation point. But obviously, if we assume the third wave has already started in wave C, then also this third wave should not break below the low of the wave two or we're dealing with some kind of a different, more complex pattern or something. But for now, it's looking good. We are just at the breakout point. So this $79.50 level, um, the previous swing high <clears throat> already was one of the main Fibonacci targets to the upside, which was reached. But if we really are in this additional extension, the price could move next, well, towards this trend line here, around $84, then towards 93 there are certain short-term targets that we discussed in the last video, $84, $88.60, $91.50, and $96.50. But there is a main level at $93, which is the, from the larger cycle, the main Fibonacci level, the next one. Okay, Fibonacci extension level um, here, which we call the 1.786 extension, which then starts to be quite, an, quite a, a strong extension for an overall third wave which should then be followed at some point by the fourth wave. But for now, we seem to be still in this third wave cycle. Um, and sort of in the last extension, ideally, of this third wave. So that means we can focus on higher. We're now approaching a breakout point to the upside. Let's see how strongly we are going to push higher. Um, the next level should be clear. The support levels as well, the invalidation point. And in addition to that, so if we see a first break below 72. I mean, that would be an early indication that uh, we have formed the top in in this structure. Um, it would, however, take more to really confirm it. I would like to see a break below this ascending trend line. See, we've got this ascending trend line that so far hasn't been broken. Oops. And until you know, until we break below these structures, we don't really have a break of the upside structure. This here is, yeah, the last bit, but it won't be large enough if that breaks to really uh, take down the entire structure and confirm the onset of the wave four. So it takes more like, for example, a break below $67. Below that level, we have $63.60. Um, $63 um, but as long as we're holding this $72 level, we don't even need to talk about that and the next breakout points have been mentioned. So yeah, momentum is up. Let's go to the indicators. Look at the daily chart first. Looking at the daily chart, we started to see a reduction in positive momentum or let's say an increase in negative momentum actually and bearish divergences. Now the bearish divergences haven't disappeared. They are still there, especially so we see higher, higher highs on the price chart. We still see lower highs on the RSI. So the divergences are still there. Um, and we also not far off this trend line. So it could be we make this one more high and pay attention to this trend line on the daily RSI. Sometimes trend lines on the RSI and the indicators are more objective and uh, more respected than actually trend lines on the price charts. So I would pay attention to that maybe when we get there and this would be around 69 yeah, on the RSI. Um, it could see a bit of a rejection there, maybe also in the price. Maybe this coincides with um, the completion of the extension. Um, but as I mentioned to you, indicators are only indicators. They only indicate the price is always king. Price has to confirm the indicators. I would never let the indicators determine my wave count. 
They can support the wave counting, but they should not determine the count. <clears throat> they can confirm it, yes, um, but they shouldn't determine it. So they are just supportive. Whereas um, I would like to focus on price mainly because divergence is also, you know, again, they're only an indicator. They're based on, pr on, on past price history. Um, and you often don't really see anything in there that you don't already see in the price action itself. Um, but yeah, going to be interesting. Solana ready for another extension higher. I'll keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.